Gabinele knows the road to the Caprisa clinic. For 30 months, she's been on a journey that would enable scientists to test the efficacy of a tenofovir microbicide gel in preventing HIV infection. It would be her gift to all women, says Gabi, agreeing to be one of the 889 participants in the trial. So many people were dying here, she says. Then we got an opportunity to help the scientists to see if a new gel would work. Gabi is 28 years old and sexually active. Her boyfriend comes to visit her at her home. At first she didn't tell him about the gel. Men don't have to know everything. So Gabi, why did you want to participate in the trial? One of my friends was dying with HIV, but I don't want to see um, other people died with HIV. Okay, so you thought of other people? Yes, me and my sister and all of the women of the world. An intervention that was going to be used primarily by women to protect themselves against getting the virus in the first place. Dr. Sebeko was one of a team of three women at Caprisa who led the elements of the trial, community engagement, clinical intervention, and scientific research. Science is two-way. It's an exchange of the mind. It's a buy-in from the people on the ground that whatever research is undertaken in their community has an impact and would make a difference on their lives. The trial brought with it broader benefits to the research community, like male circumcision, HIV counselling and testing, a comprehensive package of prevention, treatment and care. The trial participants were shown how to use the gel to be inserted before and after sex. And then she inserts the plunger and then she can push the butter inside and then the gel. They also received regular monthly checkups and counselling. Gabi and her neighbour Tule, who's also a participant, talk a lot about the gel, about how great it was that their boyfriends could not feel anything. At Vulindlela, like in the rest of the developing world, women may know how to prevent HIV, but it doesn't make it easier to ask a man to use a condom. That's why HIV had taken such a foothold. The Nkosi, or chief of the area, had seen his people die and was close to despair. If I will see my people dying, uh, whom will I lead? The results of the trial would please the Nkosi. The findings are that the Tenofovir gel, when used before and after sex, provides 39% protection against HIV. This means that for every 10 women that would have otherwise been infected, about four infections were prevented for those on the gel. This compares well to the acclaimed findings for protection against mother-to-child transmission through single-dose nevirapine. And it's a method controlled by women who are disproportionately affected by HIV. By saving women's lives and preventing HIV infection in women, we have the potential of altering the epidemic in many settings and saving many millions of lives. The results in many ways exceeded expectations. And this was a very, very careful study, very carefully conducted, very professionally conducted, with all of the measures in place to ensure that it meets the highest ethical standards. And the result is positive, sufficiently to excite us. We, we have to temper our excitement, because that's the nature of research. For Gabi, the outcome means her gift has been blessed. But there's more work ahead. A confirmatory study has to be done. Alternate formulations and different dosing strategies will be explored. For now, the results provide hope where it was much needed.